Hey guys, what's good? You're watching the best damn comic show. I am Gian Perez. With me as always, Mr. Cat Jerk on what's here up, guys? in lovely rainy Studio City That's at DJ's Universal shit. Comics. It's been raining like, cats and dogs for a while. Cannot escape that. I mean, the whole coast of California is basically flooding right now. Which is fine. I mean, <laughs> my front yard has got grass. It's like this tall. My dog Snoopy gets lost. I'm like, what, well, Snoopy? Where are you? He gets in to go pee. I don't, I don't find him anymore. He's lost. It's amazing if you're in California and you're driving by the hills when it's a drought and it's just dark brown right now it's not and now it's all green. green it turns green within like a moment's notice but uh here we are yet another week uh i want to start off by recapping pasadena comic-con that we did uh the weekend before the, the sunday before uh i had a pretty good show um about the same i think i'm i'm, I'm getting like an average number here hey look it's a i did what i did the last two shows right you know? i mean i love that show i mean it's it's a fun show. It's not, I mean, literally, you walk in, you can circle the room in three minutes. I mean, it's nothing to it. Right. But he has, you know, you have local artists. You have, you know, Jim, uh, Joe Rubenstein is always there. You got um, uh, Chuck Patton showed up this time. You have Steve Gordon. You got a bunch of local artists. You know, he has a lot of uh, voiceover actors. Yeah. You know, he had the Skeletor guy. I mean, you. I mean, I was going down there. I was like, some pretty cool stuff if you're a fan of that and power rangers were there a couple of the power rangers you know it's always it's a clean show the the room is clean the yes. dealers are clean um you're in pasadena so there's always something to do and eat over there i mean there's it's, right i mean it's a clean show and a lot of people walk through i mean it's, i'm surprised how much traffic he gets yeah it's a it's a good local show very good local show um a lot this, of, this time i've seen a lot of guys that we haven't seen before and i've seen dealers that right i was like what are you doing here but you know it's, funny funny stuff about this show uh this is the first time that people asked me for indie books you know <laughs> it's you my fourth play. time uh doing one of these shows and my indie books just sit there nobody looks at them i had three different people come up to me looking for indie books this time around so uh lesson learned i'm gonna maybe next time i'll pull one box of indies you know mix up just in just case mix, mix it. it up a little bit yeah um what did best for you for me i noticed trend wise all the same stuff batman people going for batman books uh people going for harley books now the one thing that was different this time than the last time x books now that x-men's coming back oh, into God, the Marvel I've, main, I've been, mainframe. I've been blowing that horn for, yeah. you know, it's like, gotta watch for X, man. But people are now, they're looking, they're looking for these older X books that they that they didn't want to read when, when they killed off everybody, basically. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, look, I, I, I do well at this show, you know, for the $100 table investment, I do good, but it's one of those questions where both me and my wife at the end of the show, it's like, what the hell did we sell? Yeah, no, I'm, Cause I'm, I'm, I'm literally <laughs> packing the same things and I have, I have good, I mean, I have high ticket items. I mean, I have items, you know, in the hundreds, you know, a couple of thousand here and there. And I was like, I don't move. I was like, no. what am I moving? So I don't know. I mean, I toys, comics, you know, stuff sells, that's, man. I you sold, know, that's the thing. I, I sold a lot you. of loose action figures. Like yeah. people were loading up on the loose action figures I had. Just I always do good with G.I. Joe there with Joe's. I mean, I... I get cleaned out on Joe's every time I do that show, that what, location. What what what, you, what was the most expensive item you sold? <laughs> I don't think. Uh, well, I had one guy drop, you know, picked up a ton of Joe's, but they're all like fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars right. Joe's. So it's not like there was one big ticket item. There would I don't have I didn't sell a big ticket item, and I had, you know, my Silver Age slabs there. I had some modern slabs that were like in the hundreds. You know, one's like fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars. You know, but you know, I have one guy, and this is this is why I got out of um, out of uh, doing raw Silver Age books right. and older books because people always tend to, oh well, it's got an extra corner, but it's not VG, it's uh, VG minus. It's like you know, and I'm like, dude, man, stop. You know, <laughs> so I started grading now Silver Age. If you noticed, I do have some raw Silver Age, but most of them. The high ticket items are great right. so that way there's no argument on the point on the grade of the yeah, book bring it up with cg but, <laughs> but guy comes in you know looks at my stuff him and his wife older couple really nice people they walk around they come back and they pull this one uh, i think it was the second appearance at thor and it says it's a i think it was a 5.0 grade you know and it's like four five or five i forget it's i it's still in, at home but 
you know, at $1,700. I said, best I can do is maybe 15. And he's looking, I said, well, but then I look at this corner and I look at that and I look at this, I go, brother, that's <laughs> fucking slab. <laughs> what are you arguing with me about? You're arguing the slab graded book, please stop. And he just looked and I didn't, I wasn't that right. I said, look, man, I just said, it's at the greatest. It's it's right, right, right there. there. <laughs> I mean, I can do a couple hundred bucks, but what are you trying to argue with me, you know? So. I guess I called him on his bullshit and he walked away. But yeah, I mean, it's always weird with those people too. It's like make me an offer at least, like throw a number out there, and they never want to. It's like they will. Okay, well you're asking fifteen hundred, and they're waiting for you to say, you know what, I'm gonna give it to you for two hundred bucks. Like, you know, it, it doesn't it, work like that. It doesn't I mean, it's ever. Luck. Insanity. You want something? You gotta. I have. Look, all of us have our breaking point. I mean, yes, and I've talked about this how how people don't respect us and they think they can haggle because everybody's a comic book expert you know everybody does this on the weekend on ebay blah 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 nine to five <laughs> job whatever At the end of the day you don't argue your car note or your phone or this or that so if you want something ask right don't don't start don't start going you know oh well you know like at the end of the show i had some all heavy metal magazines i had them priced and then it was half off you know, guy looked at him, he was excited because obviously he couldn't find heavy metal. Right. So the four issues that I had, and they were clean books, really nice, you know, high grade. So he's like, well, four books. I said, well, to me, they're worth $5 a book. I go, great. Yeah. <laughs> but my price is half off of that. So you either want them or you don't want them. And he ended up paying the price because he right. couldn't find But it's like, dude, don't insult me like that. It's like, stop, make an offer. The best, be, uh, be civil and say, look, would you take this? Best I can say is no, or maybe yes. It doesn't matter what I pay for it, I, but you know, yeah. Stop. I definitely. I, <laughs> and I had a I had a couple of deals like that as well, where it was like, you know, all right, uh, I want these, and you know, will you throw in that figure back there for twenty, an extra twenty bucks? And I was like, okay, sure, you know, fine. Yeah, I mean, I was asking twenty five for it or whatever. That, that's not the case. My biggest, my big ticket item, the the the, the most expensive thing I sold was sixty bucks. 60 bucks. That guy never came back for the Joes? Guy never came back. I love it when they say, yeah, yeah. let me get someone, I'll be back. Yeah. Just stuff, uh, come on. Yeah, I, just, I'm not, I, yeah. I haven't, I didn't start this yet. I'm never gonna, I'm, not, I'm never gonna see you again. <laughs> you know, you just know, say, you know, either, hey, but, um, you know, maybe I'll come back. Just say, maybe yeah. I'll come back. Let me think about it. I sold uh, Comic Con exclusive Wiley and Kit uh, Thundercats that they did, I think, I think it was 2015 or 2016, that nobody wanted. Nobody wanted this. I couldn't sell it on eBay. I've been sitting on it. I think I paid 40 for it and someone I, I put up I guess it's been hot because now people are trying to get these these Mattel Thundercats yeah. and uh, I put 60 bucks and fi somebody finally picked it up sold so, it you know you know but everything was like real small ticket items. it was uh, yeah, just it was a lot of, like and I, I said I, and I, the same account, I have no idea what I sold and I still ended up with a pretty uh, decent amount and I was trying to keep track of stuff too then I got to a certain point where you just don't keep yeah track, just, right? why are you writing things? yeah I was yeah. I watched you I was like why is he doing it just keep just like, try, well, I, I was selling. I sold some stuff for my friends, so oh, I try okay. to keep track of this stuff, stuff I sold I for him. him yeah. but, but yeah, no, it was, it, it was, but it was a good time. You know, it was a fun and, show. And, um, like I said, I, you know, I always have fun there. You know, you know, between you, Patrick, and George, I mean, we we got a cool corner, and and Steve, and, um, that's his name, right? I think so. Uh, Scott. No, Scott. No, no, Scott Zilner. Scott. Yeah, Scott yeah. Zilner. You know, he puts on the show, does a great show, and we talk to him, and and he loves us. I mean. Again, it's about how you treat people, yeah. And, and yeah, I'm looking forward to his uh, Robo Toy show and coming up in May, I believe, right? He also does a show in Bakersfield, so if you guys are out there, yeah. you know, look up Scott Zilner, look up Pasadena Comic Con, and uh, hit him up and see if he has any tables available. Maybe I should do Bakersfield. I don't know. I don't there know if I want to drive there for <laughs> sure, you know. All right, but uh, got anything else we want to talk about before we get into our picks? Uh, Super Bowl blue chunks, but... It was great. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you knew who was gonna win. I mean, it's just Super Bowl was terrible. Patriots, I hate them, but they're damn good. So whatever. There's a controversy over Adam Levine taking his shirt off, and I'm I'm sitting here like, and everybody whines about. And it's stuff. all and it's oh, a bunch of women Jesus. too. Like you know, like come on, that dude. Even if he's not as ripped as you want him to be, he still looks better with his shirt off than your husband does. Okay, I know because he looks better than me with my shirt <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, well, so. you know, yeah. God. <laughs> I'm losing it, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, so, so. <laughs> yeah. but uh, let's get into the picks of the week. What do you got? Man, I don't know. I looked. It's it's a busy week, but like for me, I just DC only it only has a couple of books. I mean, I'm looking at Batman sixty four, and they're kind of like taking a break from the. He's taking a break from the storyline. He's tying it yeah. in with uh, with the Heroes in Crisis book. That again, I it's it's a it sells. It's great, beautiful artwork. But man, I, I have no idea what the 
hell is right. going on in that book you know but we got to you know we got this batman 64 and um flash coming up you know the price you know so check them out i mean i'm gonna read them because i'm reading both batman and heroes in crisis i'm like oh, maybe this shed some light on something and i got young justice number two i liked and again it's bendis i think it's is it bendis by himself or he's got somebody else i don't know but i like that number one it was a good starting point i don't know we'll see I, again he does he there's always like something dropping with him you know but i read number one i liked it yeah i'm gonna check on number two see where it goes i'll give it a shot marvel marvel's got a lot of books but um i like again I, and i talk about this every time um jason aaron i mean he's got avengers and conan coming out this week the conan has been selling out like cost like one sold out two sold out even before yeah and two sold out before they actually shipped they were soliciting a second print for number two now you got three coming out this week avengers you have the um, the war of the realms coming up and and i'm looking forward to that a lot of cool stuff he's doing with with a bunch of characters we haven't seen in a while now back to to conan real quick do you think the buzz about it is that because of what happened in the Avengers run with him and how like these characters are starting to get into the Marvel continuity. Do you think it's because people think something big no, is going to happen? No, or they just, no, they just I want a I barbarian just think, book? I think they just, I don't think you'll see, yeah, who knows, you might see a, you know, I mean, I can't put it, but I think it's just the fact that people have been longing for a good Conan book and Dark Horse, I mean, Dark Horse was hit and miss. Right. You know, and there's just, I mean, it was at Marvel for so long and there's that Marvel fan base, you know. They, right. So it could be just people. It was a big guess, book in the 70s. It was, yeah. you know. People loved Conan the Barbarian, and people love Conan the Barbarian now, you know. But yeah, I don't think it's got anything. I, I mean, I don't. I haven't heard of a movie or right. anything else. It's just I just think they're the label, the Marvel label on the book brings back a lot of memories for a lot of right. fans. So everybody jumps on it. And again, it's some. It's that brand. Yeah. Dark Horse versus Marvel. You know, Dark Horse does good stuff, but Marvel does better stuff. And Jason so, Aaron. And not, Jason Aaron on the doesn't book. Hurt at all. Doesn't hurt at yeah. all. And it's got great art on it, yeah. too. So um, we got Champions number two. Uh, you know, this is a book about the, the kids that were replacing the main characters there for a while. Yeah. And I've always said, look, I mean, they're, they're not going to take over. You know, Riri Williams is not going to be the next Iron Man. You know, Miles Morales is not going to be Peter Parker or any of these characters. They're just, they're creating base fans. So now. They have that. They're in Champions, and that, that book is good. I mean, I've liked it before, and I like you know Jim Zub's a good writer. He's one of these guys that you know hit and miss, but he's hitting it with Champions. You know, the characters are alive. I mean, they're I think they're better handled now than they were handled before. When, yeah. Because a lot of these characters were Bendis characters created by Bendis, so they're better handled now. You know, Riri Williams. It's a fun book to read. You know no tie into Iron Man but it's finally it's a great read so is Miles Morales you know but you got that you got Daredevil number one but Chip Zdarsky and here's a guy that I mean he's a good writer he's a solid writer you know Marvel 2 and 1 you know pre Fantastic Four stuff I mean he's he's a solid stable in the Marvel you know writing mm -hmm. you know a bullpen but um, Daredevil number one I'm looking forward to it I like the man of the Man Without Fear miniseries, pre you know, last five weeks, the weekly book that came yeah. out, you know, it's it's really it was really good, you know. So now I'm looking forward to this Daredevil. I want to see what they're doing with yeah. Matt. You got Immortal Hulk 13, man. That book is just out of fucking control. I mean, that last issue sold out instantly. It was what 10, 15 bucks the day right. it came out. It's a hot book, yeah. It's a hot book. And then you know, number I two, that I mean that the whole run is starting to heat up, starting with that number two. So yeah, you know, you got amazing Alex Ross covers. I mean, it's yeah. like fuck the variants at this point. You know, just that main book. You know, um, Al Ewing's killing with this book. So you got Hulk thirteen that I've been enjoying since issue one. Old Man Quill. So we've had Old Man Logan, Old Man Hawkeye. You know, we've had a you know Ethan so Sachs been writing this. I really like that Old Man Hawkeye. So I wanted to see what he does with Quill, especially after reading the Donny Cates Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, where man, you know Quill's not your happy-go-lucky guy anymore. Right. So and I was like, okay, I mean, I'm loving. If you guys haven't read Guardians number one, make sure it's so sold out that they're doing a second print. Stores might still have it in stock, but you know, Cates is gonna have something brewing with that book. 
and then old man quill by ethan Sachs, and um i think is uh i think he's got the same artist he had on old man hawkeye so it's a uh, hawkeye was a great book i'm looking forward to this then you have uncanny x-men number 11 by by rosenberg i mean i'm loving his punisher series but i'm really liking what he's doing with the x-men i mean you can tell all the guys involved with the x-men titles right there they're guys that were obviously fans of right. the title and they're like jonesing for good stories you know we we have this age of x-men where a lot of people are kind of like what the hell is this well you know it's an answer to age of apocalypse we had a age of apocalypse that was dreary and you know ugly and just people were dying of you know, this we saw things it was a fun series but no you know it was great we had a lot of great characters come out of that x-man but now we get that flip towards age of x-man where everything is positive you know that you got a world of mutants everybody's happy but it's not and bishop is that temporal key loop you know loop that you know something's wrong but right. i'm loving i'm loving the uncanny x-men this and again you got cyclops and wolverine the two x-men left because everybody's gone right you know and i dude there's always been a clash between the two of them i'm gonna see how they want they're working together to bring this back check out the x-men books guys they're really really good reads you know so that's that's my that's my picks there's a ton of other books but that's that's what i'm gonna pull first and and check out this week as for various this week uh got a lot of cool stuff uh so francesco Mattina has a lot of controversy going on and another thing came out like now people are like upset that he like traced his own drawing or he used the same uh the f dude everybody uses the and same like, and I, and I john burn does it life of i mean well, not just like that but, but j scott campbell's been doing dude, that for like the last 15 just look at, years i look at his covers they're you all know? the same pose yeah. just changes the hair color on the girl yeah uh, so I, I don't know but it's a it's female furies it's a different character uh, it's a number one cool cover. Uh, it, I, I wouldn't be scared off by Matina. I feel like no. this, all this stuff's going to blow no. over within a few years. Then you got Harley Quinn number 58 by Derek Chu. Uh, I like this one because you don't really see Harley Quinn in manga style. You know, Derek um, Chu's been doing a lot of he's covers. Been doing a lot of for, awesome for, the, for, for DC. And you you might see this guy again in six, seven months You know, by, by the con season. This might be his early variants might be heating up because again... Grab. They're looking cool. And as more he does, the better he'll get at it. Right. So, you know, check and, them out. And I think this is sold out already at most online stores. So, something it's to Harley look Quinn. into. Yep, because Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, new style. Daredevil number one. There's a Delato variant. It's a one in ten. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm a big, I like Delato. You know, I'm a pretty Delato's big fan good. of his. And it's, it's, it's going to be hard to find a high grade because it's got an all black background. Uh, but. One in ten, you should be able to find that for a decent price, hey, depending on where you shop at. Depends. I mean, it is the lotto. You know, if the others don't sell, this one might take off. Right, right. So, because again, it is the lotto. So yeah, one in ten. But it's also but, Daredevil, who's like not the most popular character. Exactly. He's right in the middle, so you have that as well. But I, I, even though it's the number one, I expect this to be a lower print run than most other number ones because it's Daredevil. It's not X Men. It's not Avengers. Etc. Etc. Then we got uh, this month is like I'm guessing it's either this week or this month is all scroll variants. You know, oh, they started. Variants. Yeah, they started. So this yeah. is the first week of them. No, second. Week. Oh, it was the second week. Yeah, okay, second week. week. I didn't like the ones last week. Then uh, the Deadpool number nine, Mike Hawthorne scroll variant. I like this one because you might actually see Deadpool as a scroll, um, and if something Chin, happens with Chin, that, Chin sack. No. yeah. <laughs> Um, it's just I think it's a cool mashup and he's doing the whole you know pulling his mask up so you see the lines in his on his chin um, and it's got a cool red background as well did you see the trailer for uh, Avengers during Survivor? I missed it I, know everybody's been tweeting it online. was 30 seconds long it was you like know, it was like it ended but everybody's it started, yeah. I'm reading the tweets and then everybody's just losing their <laughs> minds and everybody it's like wow I mean it showed like 30 different characters in it so we know it's gonna be a big one Get get excited, guys! I think everyone's Sorry, really excited. Just... It's fine. It's fine. Uh, the Marvelous X Men number one uh, in Huckley connecting cover. I'm a real big fan of this guy, and I like this cut to cut connecting cover he's been doing. Um, and it should be uh, cover price. So if you find a copy, if you like the art, pick it up. You see the art up there. And then finally, another in Huckley cover. This is his scroll variant uncanny x-men number 11. It's the X Men versus the scroll. It's an amazing cover. That's yeah, probably my favorite actually, cover of the yeah. week. Uh, no, so, there's another one by uh, Tom Rainey, who has the old X Men, and there's there's another one in there that, by Tom Rainey that, um, again with the scroll cover, it looks pretty good too. I don't think you know I forget which title, but yeah, there's a lot of cool covers. Okay, if I find it, it'll be yeah. up there. 
But uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Smash that like button. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. We will see you next time. Cat, take us away. Oh, shout out to Mark Anthony. Stop by our booths at yep. Pasadena Comic Con. By the way, picked up a couple Hulk books from me. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you had a good time. Take us away. Hey, guys. It's February. Get out there. Support your local comic book store. Support print. And it's it's redundant for me to say it, but, but numbers are down. And... Nobody's, nobody seems to want to do anything about it. The publishers don't want to. So the only way we can keep this alive is, is again, it's the buying power, the dollar, you know, whether you like it or not. Just buy the print, leave the digital alone. Remember, Marvel gives you a free digital download with your comic books. So, you know, most of us give you a discount. So you're saving money with us on the new stuff. But get out there, support your local store. Don't let them sit on those books. See you guys in, in a week or two. In a week. In a week.